While there isn't a universally agreed upon generation classification, specifically for bombers in the same way there is for fighter jets, we can look at the evolution of bomber aircraft and identify some key early examples. No bomber stands out as a first generation bomber, but the Curtis H-1 America became the United States' first dedicated bomber in 1914. It was mostly used in limited naval aviation for anti-submarine warfare. Secondly, the first mass-produced American strategic bomber was the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, and it became the backbone of the USAAF's daylight strategic bombing campaign in Europe during World War II until the B-24 Liberator entered service and became the most produced long-range strategic bomber and served in every theater of World War II. For the third generation, we have the first operational American jet bomber, the Boeing B-47 Stratajet. It was a revolutionary swept-wing, six-engine jet bomber that formed the backbone of the Strategic Air Command, SASE, in the 1950s until the B-52 Stratofortress went into service. In the fourth generation, we have the introduction of a supersonic and multi-role bomber, the F-111 Aardvark, often classified as a fighter bomber or strike aircraft, had a substantial payload and range with variable sweep wings for efficient high-speed and low-speed flight. Although because of its multi-role capabilities, some would call the B-1B Lancer the fourth generation bomber instead. Stealth and technology define the fifth generation and the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit was the world's first operational stealth strategic bomber, designed to penetrate sophisticated air defenses without being detected. The first formally recognized American sixth generation bomber is the B-21 Raider. This emerging generation focuses on advanced stealth, connectivity, and adaptability. The B-21 is designed to be a dual capable, conventional and nuclear, penetrating strike stealth bomber, incorporating advanced open systems architecture and aiming for future adaptability, including potential for manned or unmanned operations.